I know that some of the content in this video may totally shock you, but as someone who is also a responsible female traveler, I feel that I shouldn't hold myself back and I should share this with you. Maybe for many, India can be a kind of paradise, but just like other countries, there is no doubt that India can also present some very strange situations. So yes, as a foreigner who loves so many things about India, and as someone who has been to almost every state in India, today, in this episode, I want to share with you the 5 most awkward experiences that I have had in this country. Incident 1. So, on this particular occasion, I was traveling in the Ladakh region of India. We were in a very remote area that had narrow roads with almost no public or private transportation available. We had to cover about 20 kilometers or so, and the only transportation that was offered to me was a donkey. I had never ridden an animal in my entire life, so the offer to ride a donkey while holding my small baby was something that was really strange and scary. Of course, I understand that in this part of the world, there are situations during winter when even kids ride donkeys to go to school, and I knew that I shouldn't complain because it was my decision to visit that part of India. Anyway, I refused to ride the animal and decided to go on foot instead, a decision that I don't really regret. Incident 2. Now, this particular incident was extremely serious and ugly. It took place in India just a few days before our wedding day. I was marrying an Indian man and we had so many overseas guests who had come to attend our wedding from different parts of the world. Many of these foreign guests requested that we arrange Indian outfits for them, as they wanted to wear them on our wedding day. One European female guest decided to go with us to a shop in New Delhi that sold ethnic Indian clothes. This is where the ugly incident took place. She liked one lehenga and was trying it on. However, the blouse was not readily available, as the usual practice is to get the blouse sewn by tailors, who take the measurements to sew the tailor-made blouses for the female customers. The shop management called their tailor, a young man whose name was Salman. So Salman came over and went to the fitting room with our foreign female guest to take the measurements for her blouse. My fiancé and I were waiting outside. Moments later, we heard a loud scream coming from our female guest. She came out of the fitting room and looked very upset. She said that she felt that Salman was trying to touch her in a very inappropriate way. We complained to the shop management and asked our female guest if she wanted to go to a police station to register a complaint. Despite our multiple attempts to convince her to do so, our female guest refused to go to the police. Later, I learned that this was not an isolated incident. Now, just imagine how many male tailors who sew blouses for women in India must have behaved inappropriately and how many women must have stayed silent and never spoken about it to anyone. As a responsible society, how can we ignore this? Incident 3. This incident took place in the tribal region of Assam. We were invited to a local cultural festival. As a very special and respectful gesture, the leader of the tribal group personally invited us to join him and his family members for the special meal. They served us local alcohol and fish. But I don't drink and I'm a vegetarian. I tried to explain that, but unfortunately, there was a big communication gap. I knew that if I had refused, it would sound very rude or offensive. I started to pretend that I was drinking the local alcoholic drink, but in reality, I was just touching the cup to my lips. Somehow my husband managed to communicate with them and requested that they find something vegetarian for me. But on that particular occasion, all they could offer was some red chili flakes and a dry rice cake. Of course, I know that Assam has a very rich and diverse food culture and cuisine, and the Assamese tali is actually my favorite. To be honest, I only have love and respect for these people and their interesting traditions. Incident 4. I was born and raised as a Christian in Europe. My husband is a Hindu from India. Together we have traveled a great deal in the northeastern region of India. I recall a very awkward incident that took place in Mizoram. The Mizo taxi driver who was showing us around the city of Aizol said to my husband, Sir, what's your religion? Oh, you are a Hindu. It means that you don't have a soul in your body. My husband just smiled and chose not to respond. As a Christian who comes from Europe, I understand what Christian supremacist attitudes are like. 
and of course, religious brainwashing and an expansionist seeking religious global mission can have very negative outcomes. For more on this, I highly recommend that you watch this research-based episode. Incident 5 This incident took place in Udaipur, which in my opinion is one of the most beautiful cities in the entire world. We wanted to see a historical monument and I purchased the tickets for myself, my sister, her husband and their children. A few days later, when I was cleaning out my bag, I realized that the ticket seller in Udaipur had given me a child's ticket, thinking that I was a child and not an adult. I visited the entire monument on that child's ticket and it seemed like all the security guards there also mistook me for a child. Well, that was really awkward and somehow very funny. In the end, I would like to say that out of these five incidents, the blouse incident with the tailor Salman in New Delhi and the incident in Mizoram were the only two negative experiences that I have had. The remaining incidents may have been awkward, but it was clear that they were all with good intentions, simple confusion or hospitality from Indians. So yes, if you want to travel to India, just like how it is in many other countries, you may need to prepare yourself to understand the local sentiments, customs or behaviors. But what the tailor Salman did to our female guest is something that is unacceptable and should have been strictly dealt with so that other women don't have to experience what our foreign guest did. See you again.